Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, I'm Don Asa, a 19-year resident of Garrison Ridge Subdivision in West Cobb, treasurer and uh, a longtime member of our HOA board. I'm here to urge the commissioners to vote against other uh, business item 80 next Tuesday, which of course is the mediation plan that has been achieved uh, stemming from last year's Z98 zoning case. There's absolutely no uh, question that the overwhelming majority of homeowners in the three subdivisions that surround the property in question are against this mediation uh, proposal, as well as a wider spe a spectrum of uh, homeowners across West, West Cobb. Before the mediation plan was even negotiated, one would think that some feedback would have been sought from the homeowners who would be most affected by this case. No one from Cobb County ever sought any input from us. In fact, we were excluded by the court from even offering any input, as well as in the mediation hearing. Early on, we homeowners in Garrison Ridge stated that we are not in any way trying to impede the sale of the 24 acres of land owned by Mr. Collins. To the contrary, in 2014, the Board of Directors of Garrison Ridge received an invitation from a realtor and a residential developer who was looking at the Collins property to develop it residentially. The developer proposed to build high-end homes and wanted to know if our subdivision had any objections to their plans. Our board had no concerns. In fact, we believed that such a development might benefit our subdivision and possibly increase our home values. Those who are telling you that there has been no interest in the Collins property for, except for commercial development are simply not being truthful with you. We have firsthand knowledge that there is interest in that property. Last January, District 1 Planning Commissioner Skip Gunther met in my family room with about a dozen residents from the three adjacent subdivisions. Skip Gunther introduced to us the zoning concept of an open space community. He suggested that such a development would allow homes to be built on that property and likely would save areas where there are known Civil War earthworks. This was a very acceptable option to all of us. Of course, its viability is contingent upon Mr. Collins his being willing to negotiate a fair selling price for his property, which for his entire lengthy ownership has been zoned R20, and for which he has paid taxes at that rate. Now the argument has been made to us that building homes on the ridge is going to totally flatten it anyway, so that we ought to just get over it. While we acknowledge that Building homes on the ridge will destroy some of the trees and some of the existing land features. The destruction that would be caused by building homes is absolutely nothing compared to what Columbia Properties pro proposes to do to build a shopping center. Building homes on the ridge will not generate 3,200 cars into our area every day, along with massive delivery trucks. Building homes on the ridge will not create a profusion of left turns and U-turns to access the area. Building homes will not necessitate building a detention pond that is the size of a, of a football field. We urge you to reject this mediation proposal. Those of us who live within the shadow of the ridge can also argue we have constitutional rights regarding the protection of our properties dropping this massive commercial development in the center of an area that has been zoned residentially for decades will hurt us. And for that very reason, the county departments who studied this issue last spring all recommended denying the zoning proposal. And the planning commission, when they looked at all of the recommendations from the county departments, as well as their own insights, unanimously denied the proposal. 
1,100 residents Issa, signed opposition expired. petitions. Thank you, sir. Again, we urge you not to settle for this mediation proposal. Thank you.